Deployments are mainly used for stateless applications. When you want to deploy stateful applications, you need to use stateful sets instead of deployments. Let's take an example. When you want to deploy a MySQL cluster in Kubernetes, MySQL cluster master pod needs to spin up first and then the first slave pod needs to come up and replicate the data from the master to slave one and slave two pod needs to wait until the slave one pod is ready. Then the slave two pod will come up and the data will be replicated and continues. And for slaves to be able to connect to the master consistently, it needs to have a consistent host name or an address. Cannot rely on IP addresses as it is dynamically assigned and the IP changes when the pod crashes. Stateful set assign a unique ordinal index to each pod starting from 0, 1, 2, 3. Likewise, no more random names uh, like you are having it in the deployments. So the benefits of the stateful sets are you will have a stable unique networking identifiers, stable persistent storage, ordered graceful deployment and scaling, ordered automated rolling updates. YAML definition is mostly similar to the deployment and then you can find out the example YAML file in the stateful sets documentation. At the time of defining the stateful set, you need to provide the name of a headless service uh, with a service name attribute. This will be helpful to define a stable unique network ID. This headless service will be created as a cluster IP none service from the headless service name. It will create additional DNS entries for all the ports and the DNS entry would look like this. It will have the pod name hyphen and the number 0, 1, 2, 3 likewise and dot the headless service name dot namespace name dot svc dot cluster dot local. Additionally, volume claim templates will be provided to stable storage using persistent volumes provisioned by persistent volume provisioners.